What is the atmosphere in Latvia now, given your proximity to, to, to all that's going on? Well, uh, we feel safe, but our hearts and minds are now with Ukrainians. And I must tell you, just uh, in the last 24 hours, uh, Latvian people donated about 1 million or more than 1 million euros which we already now uh, use to purchase more than 500 uh, tons of uh, fuel to ship to Ukraine. We are assisting with lethal aid, with weapons, with ammunition, with humanitarian assistance, because we believe that Ukrainians are fighting also for our, for European freedom. Because if Kiev falls, if Ukraine falls, this will change geopolitics and the pressure not only on us as a border countries, but also towards whole Europe, whole West will actually dramatically increase. And, uh, you know, we have been trying to persuade our Western partners and allies and friends during the last decades, starting at least with, uh, with uh, Russian invasion in Georgia in 2008, that we have to change attitude. But... Uh, uh, it was not so easy because frequently we were considered like a trouble jar, not capable to see a good uh, thing in, in Moscow or in Putin. Unfortunately, uh, we have been very correct because everything what we told about 2008, what we told about 2014 invasion, what we told about uh, current Russian annexation basically of Belarus, this is all what is happening. And for us, uh, you know, we still have a vivid memories of Russian occupation, Soviet occupation. So our people are just like dedicated to defend our country, like we see also Ukrainians are defending our country. And we have some friends, even if we are not Slavic nation and, and we never joined ourselves European Union. We have friends in Kiev. I have also some personal friends in Kiev who are now uh, as citizens simply defending their streets and their country at this moment. So it's very moving and we, we have to do in the West everything we can at this moment to help assist Ukrainians to defend uh, Russian aggression.